Firefighters are heroes in every community, and we all want to do what we can to support them. Yeah, when we think of these brave men and women, we often think about them in their gear and at home or, or on the truck. But at home, after putting out many fires, these firefighters have a different battle they're facing. And in this week's Heart of Detroit, Mitch Album introduces us to one man going the extra mile to support these first responders just like him. Since 2019, Joe Warren, a Macomb Township firefighter, has been fighting for a cause near and dear to his heart. Tell us first about one of the dangers that faces firefighters' health that people don't know about. Our biggest danger would be cancer. All the carcinogens and everything in the new home construction, all the diesel fuels and diesel fumes coming out of the engines and all the plastics that are being put into the new homes. Nine to 25 percent of firefighters will contract cancer sometime in their career after they retire. It's turned into our number one killer. So to bring awareness to this, Joe and his fellow firefighters strap on their fire gear and walk from a calm township to Grand Rapids over four days. How much does the fire gear weigh? 65 to 70 pounds. So you're adding 65 to 70 pounds and then you're walking how many miles? Uh, 140. 140 across the state. Every time I would take a step, we'd be like, oh, this is brutal. And they'd be like, well, this guy over here is going through chemo. This lady just lost her husband. These kids don't have a father or a mother anymore. So that's what kept us going. Mm. The walk is held every September to coincide with 9-11. And all funds raised are donated to firefighters in need. We found out there was firefighters that didn't have stoves, hot water heaters, heat in the home. So a lot of them couldn't afford gas to get to and from chemo. Some of them needed money to stay in hospitals and some of them just needed that last vacation with their kids before they passed away. They're willing to give your city and their town everything, their life, and, and they need your help. A noble cause for our local heroes, Joe Warren is walking for his fellow firefighters right here in the heart of Detroit. Well, joining us now in studio is firefighter Joe Warren. Thank you so much for being here and for all the work that you're doing, because this is incredible. Thank you for having you. me. It's of really course. appreciated, and we need all the help we can get this year. Well, we're going to talk about that. Now, have you been able to see the impact your organization has had inside of the homes of your fellow fire firefighters, and what has that been like for you? Uh, so um, what people don't know is cancer is the number one killer of firefighters, mm -hmm. and it, it is killing us. It, it literally is killing us slowly. And the impact we've had in seeing what we do is it gives them kind of a little bit of a financial break while they're waiting on the government assistance to kick in through the right. Presumptive Care Act. Or, you know, for those that don't get it, it helps them go on a vacation if, you know, there's not much time left in life. You know, we've had a lot of guys call us, hey, I have to stay in hotels. You know, my chemo is three hours away and we can't even afford that right now. We don't have heat in our home. So our financial assistance has been able to help them uh, take care of those bills or, or those memories they need to create. That's beautiful. So you guys are used to walking around, running around with this stuff on, but do you have to train for the walk with the gear because we can lift this and see that it's not easy? <laughs> so, I wouldn't uh, even try. <laughs> yeah, the first year I did the walk, I trained a little bit for it. Uh, it wasn't enough. <laughs> we never actually thought we were going to do the walk again. We gave out all the money, and that's when we started learning a lot of what was going on in these firefighter homes. It was the first time uh, my wife and I actually went and hand-delivered checks to people. Oh. So once we started learning all these issues they were having on top of the cancer, and then my captain was diagnosed um, with lymphoma after we had just passed out all the checks, we decided we were going to make this a yearly event, and then we started training harder. So I wear weight vests, we'll train in, uh, in the gear at the stations, but when I'm out on the roadway, I'm wearing a, a weighted vest, and a lot of times the sheriffs get called on me. So oh. it's fun, good times. <laughs> interesting, interesting. So what is one of the most inspiring stories from those walks? Uh, one of them is uh, this gear here uh, was donated to us from Julie Seidlinger. Um, Craig Seidlinger was an Ann Arbor firefighter who passed away of cancer. So she allowed us to redesign the gear uh, so we could train in it and have people wear it while we're walking. And the other one was a man named Steve Moore out of Howell. Um, this man made it his mission to make sure we were known. So um, last year, he was actually deemed cure to cancer in July. Woo, I love it. I'm so, I'm so happy to hear you say that. OK, so well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right. Okay. Because the need two, is more than ever, right? Yes, well, yeah. two months later, we got a call from Steve that his cancer was back and he had six weeks left to live. Oh. Uh. So he made it his mission to walk 200 yards with us into his station because we finished in Howell. He carried the flag and passed away a month later. 
and and he's been our biggest champion in, in Livingston County and without him we wouldn't we wouldn't be known out wow. there so well, we miss Steve and and I'm um, sorry no please but um real quick without Steve's touched many many firefighters he's been he was in the um industry for 40 years before he passed and he has trained many firefighters that have gone on to be career firefighters so uh, the industry owes that man and that family a lot because he he paid with his life all right no we appreciate we you so help. much for sharing the story it's so touching and the work you're doing is so incredible very quickly how can people help you and neighbors united uh, they can go to walkfortheread.org please september 7th come out to the start of our big walk uh, we we really need the help and support uh, walkfortheread.org and September 7th we leave my fire station 17821 mile road come out join us join the parade it's open to the public and, and without the media support we don't raise the funds we need we're about $160,000 short wow. of where we need to be right now come on Metro oh, yes. Detroit let's help thank you so much thank you guys so much thank you, thank you. Thank we you. will be right back